Hello kids. So in our previous class, we had gone through the elements of the story and also we came to know how to use them, how to identify them. Yes? Okay. Now, in this class, what are we going to do? So we already completed how to find using the senses. Now here in this, we are going to identify and use the order words to sequence the events. You know what happened in the story, all the events. So how to identify the sequence word means the order words already you learned in previous classes but still once again we are going to read what are these order words because we want to identify them. So identifying means when we read something whatever is there in the story from that you must be able to identify. So if I ask you to identify the nouns from a story what you want to do? You want to read the story and you want to identify the nouns like what are the names, what are the places, what are the things which you can and what are the animals names. So whatever is that you are going to find them. Identifying if some things are there, picking up the correct one is nothing but identifying. So here what are we going to identify? We want to identify the order words. So if we want to identify the order words, first of all we want to know what are these order words. So once let us see what are these order words. So first is the first order word. So whatever we want to talk about something, a story to keep them in order. So first we say first. Normally we say first, second, third to keep them in order in a line. Yes, even some books or something alphabetical order like A, B, C. This is the order for alphabetical. So things according to the sizes we keep them in order. Yes. So even the events what are happening in our life. So first a baby will be there. So next what happens? He grows. What is the stages of the baby? So according to that stages we call them. Yes. So in the same way every event morning till evening these are the events what are happening in our life. The situations. The uh, what is occurring in our life in our day. Maybe it may be per day in a week or in an year or according to the situation from our life means from birth to the death the journey so what is happening they may write in the form of stories serials or something okay so to sequence them to put them in an order we need the order words mostly the order words is very important by cooking what to use what are the ingredients first what we want to take how to use them Basing on this, normally we use that order words. Even to give commands. First you do this, next, after that. So by giving the commands also we use the order words to make them to do something in a proper order. So wherever we need to arrange something in proper order, we want to remember that to sequence them, we need some order. Yes, for that order, we use this order words. So while writing something like preparation of some any dishes okay to give some order to do something so for all this we use the order word so first is the first order word we use then then is the next order word so then 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 there is a difference between then and then th a and then 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 means after this so next After that, meanwhile, means while something is happening, uh, the other thing is also occurring. So, meanwhile, so meanwhile, he is doing something. Okay. Now, meanwhile, after that, meanwhile, so first, then, next, after that, later. Means one thing happened, after that later he did, they later asked him to do, later he did this, later he did that, so in that way we can do. And then comes finally, then comes finally, finally means it's the last. So by using this order words, how to use? The first is the one which we use first, the finally is the word which we want to use at the last ending. We can say last ending are also the words which they use sometimes for the 
order words. But normally we use these words in our order. Okay. Other than these, the words like then, next, after that, meanwhile, later. These words which are there in between first and finally, these words can be repeated according to the sentences we have. How many times we want we can repeat them. Mostly we use first, then, next, after third, final. These five words are the mostly used words. And sometimes we use the words like meanwhile and later. And this can be used as many times as we need in the context according to our necessary. Okay. So whatever a sentence starts, we want to start with first. Then is the one which can which we can use for the second sentence or we can use next for the second sentence after that so after that by after using then and next only we want to use after that means a sentences while repeating we can use these then next after that how many times we want that many times we can repeat in the paragraph okay then Last ending sentence must contain the word like final. So these are the order words. Now, if I ask you to, to arrange something in order given, then you want to use all these words and you want to arrange them according to the order. Means whatever is happening first for that you must write first only. The one which is occurring in the last, we want to use finally. The other words can be used in between how many times you want that many times by just interchanging the words. Okay. Now, to prepare a lemonade, already we discussed previously. What do you do normally? First, we take a lemon, some sugar, a glass of water so these are the ingredients so lemon sugar glass of water if you want you can take a pinch of salt or something yes yeah? so in this way you can take them and you can use them so first i take the ingredients